What is up guys? I'm coming to you on YouTube today to answer all of the questions that you asked me on Instagram yesterday. And I'm gonna answer them honestly. <laughs> it's gonna be exciting. I am not gonna do them in order, but I will tell you that the number one asked question I've lied about for a very long time and I'm going to expose the truth like towards the middle of this. So you're gonna have to stay tuned. You're gonna have to watch the whole thing. But let's get started. Um, I got asked what the 970 is and where I came from and that's kind of the same thing. So the 970 is my area code from the snowy Rocky Mountains. I was born and raised in Colorado and I did a lot of hunting and outdoors, had a wakeboard boat, but there was way too much snow for me. <laughs> so I decided to move to Florida like just under two years ago um, and I've never looked back since. I know that this kind of also is one of the questions is what do you do for a living? Have you always fished for a living? And no, this whole fishing thing is actually pretty new to me. Um, we didn't have the fishing that we did, Colorado, that we do here in Florida, but I actually work in surgery. I'm a surgical first assistant. I have a few degrees, but the most important one that I use as a career is my surgical first assisting. I have a bachelor's in healthcare and business administration, but that is probably not what you're asking for. <laughs> I moved to Florida and I started working at a healthcare facility here for surgical robotics. And I love that. I had so much fun. But <laughs> the big thing is, is I moved here right before COVID. And I don't know about some of you, some of you might've lost your jobs or your health or anything else that might've happened during COVID. But about four months into moving to Florida and buying a boat, COVID hit and they canceled all elective surgeries and they said, you know, here's an unemployment form. Sorry, we'll let you know when, you know, the whole pandemic goes away. And I cried. I got in my car and I like lost it. I was like, here, I moved to Florida. I bought a fishing boat to like, you know, do the fishing dream. And now I don't even have a full-time job in surgery. So I took to the next step, which is another question I get asked often is, why did you start an OnlyFans? And if you are new to this, sorry mom, OnlyFans is, is a subscription-based website. Basically people subscribe to watch whatever you have to offer them. Now, there's a lot of scrutiny behind OnlyFans and I'm here to clear it up for myself and myself only, but you can make it anything you want. So all I say is if you do, just, if you're watching this, you're gonna decide to make one Make sure it's in your bio and it makes sense and people know what they're getting. I do a lot of behind the scenes, fishing, a lot of fishing bloopers, fish bras. I do boudoir, boudoir I can't even say it. Lingerie and some other custom videos. Uh, pretty much, it's just like a fan base thing. I get to talk to people and interact with people because I don't actually answer a lot of my Instagram DMs because I never really know who's the fakes and who's not. So that just makes it to where I can do one-on-one -on -one stuff with a lot of the people that follow me. How much I make on OnlyFans is a big question. And I feel like it's kind of a personal choice that I'm not gonna disclose or discuss how much I make on there. I hats off to a lot of the people out there that do, and a lot of, a lot of people do very, very well on it. I just choose not to, but I do well on it. Let's just say that. It definitely saved, was a saving grace when surgeries were canceled. And it helped me take the next step into traveling and fishing and starting my business. So I definitely say that that, that was a big help. Next question I got get a lot is when is your truck going to be done? And I don't know. <laughs> I, if you don't know, I have that 2020 F-250 that I had my build manager Max Diesel help me build it for SEMA of this year. There's a lot of stuff going on with SEMA. I do not have the correct answer. If you're here looking for SEMA information, I'm not the person to give it to you. But I can tell you that the idea and the plan was to go to SEMA this year with my truck that was going to be completely redone and built. And it's still kind of up in the air. I'm not sure what's happening. I can tell you that they're requiring masks. And I know the state of Nevada has a lot of restrictions right now on people traveling and they might be requiring vaccinations. I'm not really sure. Again, I'm not the person to come to about that, so I'm not sure if SEMA's happening. But I will tell you, I just got some pictures from Stacked and Jacks, who's building my truck in Indiana, and <laughs> it looks amazing. I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, it is getting completely redone. So I'll have a Kelderman on it, new wheels, new tires. I mean, it's gonna look completely different. The pictures they've sent me, I'm like, 
I get goosebumps because it doesn't even look like my truck anymore. It looks like a totally different ride and I am so excited. The plan for this truck will be I will fly up to Indiana and do a whole unveiling of it and do a YouTube where only people who are subscribed to my YouTube will be able to see it firsthand. And then I'll come home and have it hauled back home and then I will be attending Myrtle Beach this year and maybe a couple other pop-ups here and there. But it's gonna be exciting. I'm definitely gonna be doing some shows towards the end of the year before the show season is like done, done. So you're gonna have to stay subscribed here, okay, people? This is important. Very excited for it to get done. If you haven't seen the truck rendering, it's gonna look pretty similar. Not exactly, they never really look identical. Well, I don't think they do. <laughs> but go check it out on my Instagram. I think Max Diesel also has posted it a couple times. Whew, I'm excited. All right, next one. I'm reading a list, so I'm trying to not be rude. <laughs> Trying to also stay on topic because I'm like ADD badly. Um, is what type of boat that I have and inshore versus offshore fishing. I feel like they're similar. They don't really go hand in hand for me. I had a Sea Fox, which if you've seen my clothing line and any of the pictures, it's right here. It looks like it looks like this. My 22 foot Wellcraft is the new boat that I have, and it is. I think it's a better boat. It looks identical to that, but it's more of a bay boat. It can go in shallower, skinny water. And that's kind of what I was shooting for. There may or may not be a bigger boat coming up soon that I'm also gonna be putting on the line of the 970 Adventures. But like I said, I hustle in silence. So you're gonna have to wait to see what happens in the future. I can do inshore and near shore with the new boats. I can go offshore on a calm day. It does ride a little bit lower, so I don't wanna go out when it's <laughs> pretty rough out there i don't want to get beat up out there on the water beautiful boat rides amazing has a 200 mercury on it i think you've seen the pictures of it if you're interested in more stuff about the boat i can do a separate youtube for that because there's a lot of bells and whistles that we have added to it um such as the wrap and other things so if you want that just slide in my dms on instagram say hey let's see this boat i finally <laughs> I'll be honest with you. This next question was the most asked question out of all of them and I don't understand if it should hurt my feelings or make me feel good, but it is the one question I've been lying about for a really long time. Actually for two years straight. And the question is, what is your age? <laughs> and I'll tell you why I lied about it afterwards, but I have been telling everybody on social media for the last two years that my age is 30. I'm actually 32 and it's really not that big of a deal, right? Like you're like two years, whatever. But I found that when I told people that I was 30, they would be like, wow, you're so young. You still have so much going for you. But as soon as I passed the threshold into 32, it suddenly became, oh wow, I can't believe you're still doing social media. And I don't know when 30 was the new 60, but it's not. I can tell you that at age 32, I have a lot more going, going for me than I ever did in my 20s. And I feel like now I'm experienced. Plus, not to toot my own horn, but I looked at pictures of myself when I was 28 versus 32, or like in the 20s, and I can tell you, this is much more golden than when I was in my 20s. I don't know what I was doing wrong. Maybe it's because white claws weren't that cool back then or not. <laughs> okay, the other top question that I was asked was, are you single, married, or divorced? And I hate to tell you, but I'm not married, and I'm not single. I'm off the market. Sorry, can't shoot your chance, but you can still be a big supporter and say hi every once in a while. The other question was, if I see if I see fans in public, can I come up and say hi? This is a really weird question for me, and the reason is that I don't really consider myself having fans. I enjoy fishing and I enjoy trucks and I enjoy being myself, but I, I don't expect to have like fans, but absolutely come say hi. I live on the Gulf Coast of Florida, so I'm not sure if any of you even live over here, but I'm always around, I'm always always down to say hi. Um, I usually, usually carry like stuff around with me and I could give you guys, you know, be kind of fun. All right, the next one is, how did you get started on your merchandise and your business? And what is your business? And that would be, I own 970 Adventures. I started it a little while ago just <laughs> just to be able to have some foundation to start the process of a business. Like I told you, you know, when COVID hit, it really pushed me into having to do this quickly. 
and I sell merchandise online from Mariah970.com like you've seen before and I'm wearing currently there's like hats performance shirts men's t-shirts women's crops there's hoodies now I have all sorts of new koozies and koozie colors they got a little logo and a booty on the bottom these are the best they're definitely a conversation starter I don't know if you can see that <laughs> um, I'm running a sale right now too not that this is an advertisement but if you're wanting to support it's the easiest way to support me is by subscribing to my YouTube and my TikTok and my Instagram and if you want to buy anything I buy high quality stuff and I always throw in free goodies with every order and I personally ship it so it comes with love and um, or you can subscribe to my OnlyFans if that's also the way you want to go <laughs> I post some good stuff on there too and I'm trying to make this quick because I know I have like people some of you don't have very long attention spans like moi but it is fake accounts and I'm here to tell you that I only have one Instagram account and one Facebook and I know that that's been very confusing lately. There's been a rise in scammers out there, so just stay away from them. I can see a scam from a mile away. I'm not sure what some of you guys who believe in these scams are doing, <laughs> but if you have somebody messaging you that you seem that seems like a scam, screenshot it and DM it to me on my Instagram at Mariah underscore 970. It's my only Instagram. Then message it to me and I'll try and take care of it or you can report it for me. And another top one I had before I get into the funny bloopers and tell you what I'm gonna give you guys for free. But I get is, do you charter or can I come fishing with you? And if I can't, can you point me in the direction of another captain? And that is yes. I am not making it available to fish with me personally. However, if you ever book a fishing trip anywhere and you want to add me to the trip or you want to collaborate or do a YouTube from it, feel free to email me. My email is connected to my Instagram and we can work something out. Um, I've done that a couple of times, it's fun. I personally don't take out people on my own right now just because of a safety issue, but here soon there's gonna be a change in that and that'll be really exciting to announce. If you're gonna be fishing somewhere and- Whoa, what did I do? Oh boy, my, <laughs> my SIM card just said it's full. It's like, shut up girl, stop talking. I don't know where I was. I left off with if you're fishing anywhere and you want any suggestions or you want me to refer you to a captain or a charter, I can absolutely help you. I fished all over the place from Costa Rica to Florida, some parts of Texas, New York. Those are kind of my areas. Alabama, I can absolutely get you to somebody that you will catch tons of fish with because that is important, right? Right. All right. Well, the funny bloopers I had were <laughs> People asking me what's my favorite position, and I'm not sure if we're talking sports <laughs> or others, but you'll have to just subscribe to my OF to find out on that one. The other one is what size are your feet? I I don't <laughs> I got that a lot, and I I have tiny feet. I have a size six. I'm not sure how that's bad, but I did get that a lot. Also, if you're into feet stuff, you could always subscribe to the OF. I'm telling you, it's just full of fun stuff. Um. I got a lot of funny bloopers. Uh, I had a lot of people ask me what is fake. I had a lot of women reach out to me about bikinis and where I get them from. Um, I tend to be thicker, so I do have to be careful with bikinis I buy, but I just, I buy from all over the place. If there's a specific bikini you really wanna know to get your wife or yourself, try and DM me with a screenshot of the bikini and I point you in the right direction. Um, but ultimately, I, half of them come from Amazon and they're like $10, so don't trust me fully on that <laughs> and I just have to say a lot of the women and even men didn't really give me questions but they said that they really enjoyed the confidence and the personality because these days social media really lacks the personality and I agree people these days can filter edit and do whatever they feel necessary to make people think that they are somebody different I will try not to do that to you <laughs> I am me and I am glad to see a lot of you women saying that you are comfortable in a bikini now. It is okay to be thicker. I think thick is in, I think curvy's in. You be you and if you're confident with it, people are gonna love it. It does not matter if you're skinny or you're thicker or you're unhappy, just be confident, right? That's all we can do, especially this day and age. And so, yeah, thanks to you guys. I decided since you OG stayed at the very end, if you are watching this, all I need you to do is screenshot this right here 
or some part of this YouTube and DM me saying you watch the YouTube and I will send you a free koozie right now. You're gonna send me your address and then you watched it, I will throw a koozie. I don't know what color you're gonna get. It could be camel, it could be blue. There's a couple purples and blacks in there. I don't know, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. But if you also wanna show support and order shirts or performance shirts or koozies, I'll throw in a free koozie and air freshener with every order for the next two days and then the sale is gonna go away. So I appreciate you watching. I really enjoyed all the questions you guys had for me. I am fishing offshore or near shore tomorrow in Naples, Florida. I am going to be doing the truck reveal, doing a lot more YouTubes for you guys. So you're going to want to subscribe and like all these videos because I have a lot of stuff in store for you. Much love, guys.